there are two words that appear on the seventh day of creation. Uh, and one of those words is blessing, and the other word is sanctification. So what we call bracha and kedusha. Now, right. bracha is already mentioned in Genesis chapter 1, when we talk about the, the mul being multiplied with the fish, and that humanity is supposed to procreate. So we know that the word bracha means more of. Right. But it has a specific connotation to procreation. When God is saying it on the seventh day from a God perspective, God is saying that he's having more of himself available on the Sabbath. So there's a more amplified presence on the seventh day than you will have during the regular six days of the week. Mm -hmm. Right. The word that's quite unique for the seventh day is the word Kedusha. That is the first time that we see that word normally translated as sanctification i would translate it more as transparency mm -hmm. and what i mean by that is i'm sure you have met people that have a special connection to god and in their presence you are wowed you're in awe and when you walk away from their presence you find an opportunity to introspect on your own life and then try to see if you need to improve a certain character trait in the relationship with God. Now, you never had that conversation with that person. Just the way the person was with you, it invoked a feeling of, I need to do more for God, even though you didn't have that conversation. That is what it means to be God's transparency on that day. When we have that moment of his amplified presence, and its most transparent form that we can take as a human being, we walk away with what do I need to do more for God in the coming week for his kingdom to be brought down from heaven to earth. So in order to get to that, you have to have a training manual. You have to have a schedule in order to do that. A, the concept that there is a Sabbath. I think many people who are 40 and younger don't even view Sunday as Sabbath anymore, let alone they think Sabbath is under the law, minutia, yes and uh, do's and don'ts. There's a very negative attitude to Sabbath. So while Christians may talk about Ten Commandments, what they're really talking about is nine out of the Ten Commandments. Right. And the Sabbath is put to, is very much marginalized. 